Hey guys, and welcome to a patch notes overview for Smite. This patch is called Shadows of Olympus, releasing November 3rd. So let's go check out some of the new skins. All right, we are now in game with Zeus here. Going to be checking out this skin. This is probably the coolest skin. This is in the SWC digital pack. So uh, you get a bunch of skins. You get an emote, and you also get a ward skin. So I can show you uh, the emote now. Uh, maybe if it wants to work. Um, work, please. <laughs> I do have a ward, so I'll place that down. And there's a ward. This just is not working. There we go. It went up. Okay. But yeah, that's the firework. That's the 2016 SWC firework. That's the SWC 2016 uh, ward skin. And this is one of the skins that you get. Honestly, probably my favorite one out of all of them. But um, it changes like the most of him. So his effect colors are red. Really nice looking. And we'll use it on here. Look at that. All red still. There's a shield. There's ult. And yeah. Looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. But moving on, we're going to go check out the uh, Curse Agni skin. And here we are in game with Agni. This is the Curse Agni skin. And uh, none of his effects changed that I can tell. Uh, he just has his Curse shirt on. And uh, yeah, it's like the uh, Curse Apollo. Kind of. Um, his ults, yeah, everything's still the same, same effects, just his model changed. But this also comes in the pack, and time to look at the convention Anubis skin. So here we are with a new buy in the game. Um, doesn't look like it, but he, this is his convention skin. Adds a little bit of black trim around him and stuff. Kind of like the Guan skin or the Artemis skin, just kind of gives him a new color, new look. Same effects, same everything. Um, same ult, and yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, it's nice, it's exclusive, so, um, yeah, and you also get a divine chest roll, which you can roll for an exclusive skin, like another convention skin, or one of those kind of skins, which is pretty awesome in my opinion, but uh, yeah, moving on to whatever comes up next after this. Now let's check out the new set of skins that were released. These are called Shadow Skins and can be purchased using your clan honor. You can access the store when you're a clan level 3. The store contains 5 chests, each being a different leveled chest. And to unlock a new level chest, you must make at least 3 purchases to unlock the next level. And each roll contains recolors with the chance of a Shadow Skin. There was also a new game mode released called Clash. I did a whole video about that. Uh, I'll have an annotation on the screen so you can click that and go over to it But yeah, I talk all about clash in that and it's a new game mode for smite go check it out Another change to the clan is you can set a clan icon that can be used by anyone in the clan Even if you don't own the icon moving on We're gonna check out some of the item changes that happened this patch frostbound hammer got reduced from 400 HP to 325 This was a change that I wanted to see from something that did with frostbound hammer uh, it was just really, really strong, and I'm glad that it happened. Uh, Heart Ward Amulet reduced from 60 Magical Protection to 50. Uh, not sure why this got reduced, since it was bought kind of later in the game anyways. Um, but yeah, I guess they're experimenting with this stuff. Uh, Mystical Mail got reduced in HP 2 from 300 to 220 HP. So this was also a well-needed change. Uh, the Mystical Mail was just a really strong item overall and uh, was picked up by pretty much every warrior and any anyone who wanted to build defense built that item. Um, Pestilence, the healing uh, reduction increased from 20 to 25. This was also a good change because healing is so strong in the game right now, uh, especially with the uh, nerfs to weakening curse and all that. Sovereignty went from 55 protection to 50. Uh, again, I think it's just them experimenting. It could be changed when it's fully released. We're just not sure yet. Moving on to some of the god changes. Athena's ult cooldown increased, so she's not going to be able to travel across the map as well as she was before. Um, this is for the earlier levels. It's still the same when she's maxed out her ult at level 20, but um, for now, when she's a lower level, she's not going to have that ult all, all, always up. Janus, his threshold, I think everyone was uh, predicting this, that Janus was going to get nerfed. Uh, he was re his three was reduced to 25% slow instead of like 40 or whatever it was at before. Um, so it's 25 at all levels now. Capri mana usage increased, not by much. It just it's a change. I don't know. Um, Scylla, her crush mana decreased. 
Um, this was to, I guess, get more players playing Scylla again, uh, bring her back into the game. Uh, Sun Wukong, starting health and mana cost increased. Um, he's kind of strong in lane. Some people are, are arguing with this one. Um, Bluestone really brought him over the edge of being like well played and like able to be played like that. So I think it's 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 sort of the item fault, not really Sun Wukong's. But if they want to keep Bluestone like that, they're gonna have to nerf Sun Wukong, I guess, a little bit. Even though he wasn't that strong, but yeah. Zeus's Aegis Assault, um, or his two, his projectile speed. That's his shield that he throws out. He like lobs it now, and um. Yeah, that was a good change too, I guess, if because Zeus, Zeus was kind of annoying to play against anyways, and he has a lot of damage and stuff. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.